Hey everybody and welcome to the weekly scope, 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 scope from the 29th of January right up into the 4th of February 2023. So on the 29th of January the moon enters void of course and it starts at 1.44 a.m. So what is void of course? Void of course moon in astrology is when the moon journeys through its cycle and it makes one last main aspect, i.e. a trine, conjunction, square, set star, opposition, with another planet before changing signs, yet it still makes minor aspects. I, I call them major, and I do include them in my um, weekly scopes and daily scopes. But anyway, so it will still make minor aspects, such as semi-squares, set stars, quintiles, and sister quadrant, but it won't make any what's called in inverted commas, main aspects. When the moon enters void, of course, it can be a time of uncertainty and confusion for many. Because of this, some astrologers suggest it may be best to delay things during the moon void, of course, period. To be on the safe side, it may be sensible to plan ahead, stay clear of major events or decisions during the time period when moon's void of course sometimes moon void of course can just last for an hour sometimes it can last for a day if you can it's a perfect time to take some time out to reflect and relax if you feel affected by the moon void of course period in astrology the moon represents our emotions and innermost feelings so this is especially a vulnerable time for some people, especially for those with strong cancer or water, energy, Pisces and Scorpio in their chart. So water signs and those affected will especially benefit for taking time out to reflect and check in with themselves, especially on your belief patterns, maybe thinking of starting or continuing the work to let go of them. Excellent time to practice mindfulness and to be open to the universe, lessons for you, giving gratitude, even though it can be a challenging time, it can also be a powerful one. If we use moon void, of course, periods as a perfect opportunity to cultivate our inner strength and wisdom. Also today, the moon enters Taurus at 9.17pm, all times within GMT times. So people can be more focused on career and financial security at this time rather than try new things practicality is the key theme of the moon transit in taurus period the moon is elated in taurus so this means it's a good position in, in astrology for the moon to be because it can balance out the emotional aspects with the moon helping you to look at your emotions more practically but negatively it can make you just not look at emotions at all and lead to you being a bit emotional constipated and cold but yeah ultimately because the moon is said to be in a good position when it's in Taurus it supports progress in whatever you set your mind and actions towards right now it can also be an excellent time to sort out issues especially business issues investment issues and stuff like that anything to do with paperwork and practicality because this energy moon in Taurus gives you the ability to remain composed and calm and be more loyal and consistent in intimate business and other relationships and just in life in general in your own personal goals so it makes you be able to just focus on them a little bit more so making it also perfect energy to take care of bills and do financial planning spending time with family and friends or anyone else enjoying the luxuries of life like the comforts and having a good family meal together playing games or enjoying some other form of entertainment together can bring comfort to you right now so you can do this with others or on your own some self-care if you live alone and you're single Negatively, people can become more possessive and stubborn and selfish, not wanting to share and looking down on others that they view as being less than them. So those who they think are poorer than them, don't wear good enough clothes, talk well enough and stuff like that. They can also be overspending and overindulgence in food, drink and intoxicating substances. Plus, some people can be more materialistic than normal. 
The best use of the moon in Taurus energy is to harmonise and plan, making time to solve any problems with your self-esteem, love and beauty. If you don't save, now is a great time for you to start doing so. If you do have investments, you should check that they are secure and consolidate them, reduce them and just make sure they're okay and do what you need to be done. And also a good time to look for new, fresh investment opportunities as well. For you horticulturists out there, if you put in hard work, the transit of the Taurus moon vibration will reward you during harvest time. So now it's great for planting vegetables such as parsnips, turnips, beets, sweet potatoes, radish, maker and carrots. And if you want to slow the growth of your plants for any reason, now is the time to trim your field and use any growth training methods that you know. And also today, the stars are aligning to bring a new wave of ideas as transiting Mercury makes a trine to Uranus. You can expect to have a reliable intuition and flashes of mental psychic genius. So yeah, this can be an opportunity to think outside the box and embrace originality. You will also have keen powers of observation to see things from a new perspective, inspiring you to exercise your intellectual flexibility. Ideas are sort of flow in abundance and you will benefit from embracing them and using them to your advantage. Enjoy the creative bursts of energy and make the most of it. On the 30th of January, there's nothing to report this week. So yeah, on the 31st of January, the moon void of course starts at 625 Earlier in the week for this forecast, I've already mentioned what moon void, of course, means. So you may want to rewind. But basically, in a not sound moon void, of course, is when astrologers say not to do important things if you can avoid doing important things. So, yeah, that's all that happens. Moon void, of course, on the 31st of January. On the 1st of February at 8.30 a.m., the moon enters Gemini. When the moon's in Gemini, there can be an increase and communication. It's also good for all sorts of writing, research and reading, especially technical, scientific, medical or intellectual sort of research and reading and information gathering. (laughs) In general, if you engage in deductive reasoning or intuitive guidance, there can be a lot of lively sort of discussion and an influx of ideas right now that can sort of like help you solve your problems or just make a deeper connections with people. You can also spend more time traveling and socializing with friends and locally than normally. Negatively, there can also be an increase in malicious gossip bias thinking, superficial, trivially kind of speaking, and that worst people can talk cap to get what they want, tell lies or do whatever, dragging, criticising others or having prejudiced opinions that cause verbal or on the extreme and physical conflict. People may use intellectual or psychological welfare to weaken their opponents or nervous tension may get the better of them and restlessness can cause some people to become more irritable than normal over their inability to fix or cope with any confusion in their environment or thoughts right now as well this can make people more anxious there can also be delays in critical communications and short distance travel that can also add to this sort of nervousness People can also rationalise their emotions right now or use logic instead of their heart and their emotions and this can cause problems in relationships. The best use of the moon in the constellation of Gemini is organising your own or family matters, catching up on reading and replying to essential communications, carrying out research and anything else that broadens your knowledge bank or take time out to sort issues rationally with your close ones and explore your community. For your gardeners out there, when the moon is travelling through the constellation of Gemini, it's a perfect time to store roots and fruits, cultivate your land and plant all types of melon or jacuni seeds and cucumber squash and courgettes and cucumins and things like that. And the moon enters its gibberous moon, watching gibberous moon phase at 3.08pm GMT time today. So the key themes of the watching gibberous moon are... Transformation, organisation, strategising, looking at the bigger picture, seeking truth and digging deep. 
so when the moon's in the waxing gibberous moon phase it's a perfect time to reflect on your progress of any goals that you're working on towards especially wellness relationship and career ones you may find it useful to write down or voice note your emotions and thoughts right now evaluating what's blocking your progress and detailing what you're doing right as well because we have to pay attention to the good and the bad things in our life as well as our strength and weaknesses making a plan to refine or develop a new strategy to achieve your ambitions if you are struggling as the sun moves from a sister quadrant to a quinquat which makes up the waxing gibberous moon phase it is a chance to recognize the delicate balance between our wants desires and our needs Embrace this opportunity to explore the tension between your personality's feminine and masculine parts to discover or continue to build a newfound harmony within yourself. This energy, the watching gibberous moon phase energy that is, is also excellent to help you tap into your inner strength, to help you rise above the mood swings that you and others may be experiencing to find peaceful resolutions to any problems. So yeah, that's the waxing gibberous phase. Okay, so that's the 1st of February. On the 2nd of February, Venus makes a set style to the Moon's North Node. So during this period, you can make meaningful connections with those around you, whether it's in the realm of romance, art or friendship. Now is a great time to reach out and form bonds with like-minded individuals. With Venus in a set style position to the Moon's North Node, you may find yourself feeling more emotionally inspired than usual. This can also be a time to form new relationships, take creative risks and share affection with yourself and others this is also a period when you may be more in tune with the collective and your relationships can be a source of spiritual growth right now or emotional growth or psychological growth you are more likely to be open to new experiences and your relationships can be a source of comfort and inspiration it's a reasonable period to reach out to others and connect in meaningful ways. Also, if you've been putting off, you know, conversations that are deep and intense, maybe if you can remain open minded and balanced and listen to the other person's side and remain calm while they give their side, it's a good time to address any problems that you've got in a relationship as well, because you may be better able to understand where each other's coming from. On the 3rd of February, the moon void of course starts at 12.09 a.m i explained early this week what that means also at 9.02 p.m the moon enters cancer so when the moon's in cancer people may focus more on home improvements their family nurturing themselves or others taking care of bills and other domestic matters can be the centre stage when the moon enters the constellation of cancer. People may be more creative, romantic, idealistic, emotional and clingy and seek emotional security over anything else during this moon phase. You may want to spend more time in your own home or other people's home rather than going out to socialise. Some of you may retreat into your own little cell just wanting to be alone Hurtful words and actions can deepen any pain you may be in already. So everything that is not a criticism can be taken this way. People can be more sensitive when the moon's in cancer. And um, at worst, this energy can make some people patronising, fearful of the things and people they cannot control. Some of you may try to dominate others with your emotions so it's not a physical kind of domination because we're talking about cancer water but it's still a cardinal energy so it's still an enterprising energy so yeah people can want to control others and this can deepen tensions in relationships or cause them it's essential that you don't eat your emotions because there's a risk of overindulgence in drugs alcohol or other substances right now it can be hard for some people to be honest about their feelings or even to face their feelings themselves or even if people call them out and say you know you did this and that they may just be like I don't want to discuss it spending time in self-reflection self-care attending therapy and all forms of meditation is the best use of this energy and taking care of all your personal matters and trying to get to the bottom of those 
psychological problems as well which I'll talk a bit more about in a while also spending time with children nurturing your own inner child spending time with family friends or others with whom you have a close connection and healthily meeting each other's needs is also a good use of this energy some of you as I said will spend more time entertaining cooking for each other each other's homes and just wanting to just socialize and just have a good time others of you may just rearrange your home and anything to do with sprucing up your home also you may find yourself taking care of people who are more vulnerable feeling down and depressed or elderly right now spending money in practical and decorative items as i said for your home or some of you may be looking for a new place to live in or invest money in or take care of any investments you already have in relation to property and real estate as you call it in the states because I know that I've got some USA listeners and thank you guys for listening so yeah also there can be money problems especially those relating to family budgets overspending which may cause discomfort in your household during this time so it's best to economize moodiness due to unhealed psychological emotion or spiritual wounds can surface from your subconscious mind into your consciousness increasing the risk of misunderstandings and conflict in the home social or work environments when the moon is in cancer it's an excellent time to plant and replant leafy fruits vegetables and anything else herbs and spices and whatever and um, fertilizing and watering plants can also increase harvest so it is said when you plant things under water moon so pisces scorpio the end harvest should be more also today the sun makes a square to uranus so When the sun um, makes a square to Uranus, this can be a period of unpredictability. You can expect the unexpected and it is possible that sudden surprises and setbacks can occur in plans, so just be mindful of that. Those in positions of authority may make decisions that are out of the ordinary or take actions that are not in keeping with past behaviour. So, you know, your bottle with knives can be total and a deuce bag or jerk or just a pain in the bum as we say in the UK right now or vice versa your boss is normally horrible he's nice right now so yeah this can cause for some of you a disruption and you may require to adjust and change while you normally how you react to others during this time on the other hand this can also be a favorable period as it can signify a time of innovative thinking and reform so this can be like i said the boss that was horrible may become nice or your partner in you you could have been arguing but now you can be nice to each other or again you could have been nice to each other you could be argumentative it's just expect the unexpected basically there can sometimes this energy brings reform so it's strongest today but you know it's been influencing from about three days and it will last for about another week so the may be some global changes that are being made but we're living in a time of really big changes right now but all in all on the individual level it's an opportunity to bring about positive changes in your life and look at things differently if handled correctly this period can see an introduction of new ideas or strategies into your life that can be beneficial in the long run so yeah that's the 3rd of february on the 4th of february the moon leaves out of bounds at 10 11 p.m gmt times the phase moon leaves out of bounds has an air of mystery as if it were a secret code that only a select few can understand it can be interpreted in many ways and it can suggest a desire to escape and explore beyond the boundaries of society and conventions although the phase moon leaves out of bounds carries various meanings and interpretations at its core it's a reminder of the unpredictability of our lives the moon is symbolic of the constant ebb and flow of our lives and when it leaves out of bounds it suggests that the tide is sifting and that we may be entering unknown and unfamiliar waters but it's a reminder to stay alert remain flexible and be prepared for whatever comes your way to take risks and go beyond your comfort zone when the moon leaves out of bounds and comes back in bounds, see it as a call to action to step out of your comfort zone and embrace the uncertainty of life with open arms, reminding us to explore the unknown, to voyage to far off places and seek adventure. 
In the end, the meaning of the phrase is up to each individual to decipher and interpret, but it's a reminder to take risks, explore and never be held back by boundaries, regardless of whether the moon is in or out of bounds. Also today on the 4th of February, Venus makes a square to Mars. When Venus makes a square to Mars, passions can run hot and feelings between people can be intense and unpredictable. There is a tendency to come too strongly in love or sex and even infidelity may be tempted. People may just flirt a bit or some others may go to the physical acts of um, cheating. Due to heated emotions, acts of violence may also be possible but there is also a more positive side to this aspect which is an increased drive and passion for competitive activities although some people may love confrontation right now some people would just want to have some sort of you know playful um sporting activities or playful um competition right now this is a time for us to indulge in our passions and be mindful of the consequences of our actions as the intensity of our feelings can lead to vast decisions and cause problems in our relationships so the best use of this energy is just to you know push ahead through the doubts on any projects or goals that you're wanting to achieve so yeah that was the weekly scope 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 from the 29th of january right up until the 4th of february take care and see you next week